I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Please take me off your your um camera. Take you off my camera? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a hard no. Well then, you work for the city. I'm sorry. No, no expectation of privacy in public. So, so are you gonna refuse us service because you don't want to be on camera? Is that where we're at? Yeah, I, I think have so. Rights too. You you have rights to not be on camera. On camera. So you have. You're saying you have an expectation of privacy in public? That might be one of the silliest things I've ever heard. And actually, just so you know, as a, in a public capacity as a city, town, or municipal official, um, you have extremely limited First, Fourth, and Fifth Amendment rights. Um, but I find it interesting that in a city building, you think that you have an expectation of privacy. I don't recall you asking me for permission when I walked in and saw one of your cameras. Will you go shut those cameras off for me now? I didn't think so. Let's go find out your name so I can put it all over the internet. That, that, mis that miserable. Wait, you want to apologize to me, ma'am? I'll take an apology or your job. What do you think? What do you think? Miserable cuss. This for you. Just looking for um, Kathy's full name, salary, and dates of employment. Can I ask why? Yeah, she's a real asshole. So now I'm going to get her information. Maybe she's and, nice enough to call him one first. Yeah, so I'm, I'm returning the favor. So now I'm going to get all of her information. I'm going to get it within 10 business days. I'm going to blast it all over the internet to hundreds of thousands of people. And maybe she'll learn not to treat the public like crap and try and step on their constitutional rights that brave men and women, some of my friends, have died for to defend. So that's... To be perfectly candid with you, that's my objective. You know, what you're telling me, uh, that, is, that, that you're complaining the situation, and it's not something that we tolerate, and we're going to have to deal with it. What's going on, guys? We're at the Smithfield Town Hall in Smithfield, Rhode Island, and you'll remember this infamous town hall because of this. Fuse, man. I mean, you just made it something it didn't need to be. We weren't talking to do you. what you got to do. Okay, thank you. you. All right, well, then why are you talking to me? Because you, you see, that's the thing. I don't yeah, want to talk to you, yeah, but I'm going to walk talk towards to you. you. You I just, I don't want to hear it. Zip rights. it. Zip it. No, don't. Shh. No. Zip it. I'm just All telling right. you, Zip. if you publish that. Zip. I'm publishing it. Do what you want. But that's Call not legal. fair to that individual. You know, it's not fair. That that's, that's tough, man. Okay. You keep telling me you don't want to talk, but you keep walking back to the camera. Just go. You just can't help yourself. I feel bad. No, you get it. I can get it. I can get it. Don't you can't get my face. You can't get my face. No. <laughs> Can I help you? Uh, no, I'm okay. Yeah. And may I ask what you're doing? I'm sorry? I, can I ask what you're doing? Um, like presently? Yeah. I'm standing at engineering. And you're videotaping, why? Um, I don't really to answer any questions. I prefer not to be on camera. To say that the town of Smithfield has failed us. The people in Smithfield, you'll always be my home and I love you all, but the town who runs Smithfield, you have failed me and my family for months. And I hope that no other family in Smithfield has to go through this. This is the home I've been living in. Okay. okay? I have a three month old and a two and a half year old special needs child. Okay. I've come to the town since uh, starting December about my landlord putting us through horrible, there's exposed lead in the home, there's rats, there's um, inadequate heat. My bathroom right now, as we speak, is 47 degrees. My children's bedrooms are 56 degrees and 54 degrees. I've come to them, they're saying there's nothing that they can do within the code. City's done, you guys have done Nothing. inspections? Well, and inspections, yes. Has it met up to the qualifications no. or has it failed? It, it has not, and it it's has been failed. documented as such that there were violations or issues that needed to be corrected, and the owners were notified of that in the time of the How many inspections have you conducted on the home? It can't have been any less than, to, any less than seven. But we're over, still living in it. Over how long of a period? Three months. Since at least December. How come the exactly. home wasn't shut down and the family replaced? Right. Because there are records requests, digging into everything that you've ever put your name on because you don't know what your people are doing on a daily basis. You know, you're like, maybe when you have a mother in here that's about to be kicked out in the street 
your answer shouldn't be, I got a guy that does this, I got a guy that does this. Like maybe get your boots a little bit more dirty and hit the ground, do some field work. Does that make sense to you? Because maybe she can bring her kids in here next time and then you can just sit here and recite a script that sounds good. I'm just trying to figure out where I can give them a warm shower tonight. Do you have a place to stay tonight? No, that's what I was asking. I'll buy you a it's hotel. Friday night. I'll do what it. You guys, do? you guys won't do it. They should, said should, the should landlord I... has 24 hours to fix it. Oh, it's so, so, do you want to? Do you want to put our kids up for the night? How much money do you make a year? Don't answer it. I'm going to record request it anyways. So save me, save me nine days. How much money do you make a year? I believe what okay. enough to go on vacation. How much money do you make a year, bro? It's like 79,000. So you scratch up 120 bucks for her tonight since you guys didn't do your due diligence or should we the people do it? I can do it for you. Should I do it? You want me to get a hotel room I, for her? Let's not. I know, I know you guys have the right to film and everything. You don't, we don't, we don't. Well, she's invited me into this meeting. Asking, and we've been, you're, not, you're not being attacked. I'm asking. What saying is actually what I came in here asking of what is going to happen to my family tonight. Do you, I, uh, my that question is, is, is you, if, you want, if you want to bank out. I'll take care of the bill. I think Do you want me to pay the bill? Done his job properly, and that's why I called. The should I should I pay the bill? I'm just saying. Should I pay the bill? What I what I want. I, I can pay the bill for. What Do you want I, me to do that? What, what I want is for the law to be followed. You want the law to be followed, right? It, but so but I'll for whom? Pay. But for whom? For all people who are under its jurisdiction. Well, you know what? It uh, doesn't seem like that work because if that was the case, she wouldn't be sitting right here. So what I'm asking you right now is, do you want to pay for the hotel, or should I? I think the town of Smithfield should... So you're in a rock and a hard place. I'd find somewhere in the middle and just get it out, man. I know you're not going to pay for that hotel room, so why don't I do it? I will... Um, I'll find a, a hotel. I'll grab some cash. We'll get her put up for tonight uh, since the town... Of, I mean, but look at that, man. $80,000 wasted on you. I don't get paid by the city, and I'm willing to take care of your problems. You disgust me. Like people in your position that do your job. I said hire me. me. I'll come. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, enjoy your lunch, man. Can I can I get you anything? I'm good. I'm good. Do you want me lunch? I'll be fine. Are you sure? Lobster roll? Some champagne? I hate all right, pound it, man. Pound it, bro. Yeah, that's for you, bro. Look at this guy's hands buried in his face buried in his hands. He could not be more miserable right now. He just knows that he stepped in the hornet's nest. Oh, he's miserable and I love it. That's right. First time I've ever had that happen. I'm doing an audit and some woman is talking to a city official and she calls me in for help. And what we found was absolutely incredible. A city trying to force her out, forcing her to live in squalor. And it wasn't until we came along that some justice got got. With our help, we forced the city to pay for her hotel while renovations was done and she got several donations to help with her bills, thanks to you guys. Let's see how they've done since then. Hi. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Have I met you before? I'm not sure. Okay. If you're filming, I don't appreciate it. I'm sorry, Please. I couldn't hear you. Please take me off your your um, camera. Take you off my camera? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a hard no. Well then. You work for the city, I'm sorry. No, no expectation of privacy in public. So so are you going to refuse us service because you don't want to be on camera? Is that where we're at? Yeah, I, I think so. You, you have rights to not be... On camera. On camera. So you have... You're saying you have an expectation of privacy in public? That might be one of the silliest things I've ever heard. And actually, just so you know, as a in a public capacity as a city, town, or municipal official, um, you have extremely limited First, Fourth, and Fifth Amendment rights. Um, but I find it interesting that in a city building, you think that you have an expectation of privacy. I don't recall you asking me for permission when I walked in and saw one of your cameras. Will you go shut those cameras off for me now? I didn't think so. Let's go find out your name so I can put it all over the internet. Hello. Hi. How are you today? Good. Oh, you're eating your lunch. Go ahead, do your thing. Sorry. No, you're fine. Don't, don't apologize. Enjoy your lunch. It's your lunch time. Um, do you need something? I'm just trying to figure out what the name of the secretary is in the engineering office. Kathy. Kathy, thank, thank you very you much. So Sorry. No, enjoy, enjoy your no, lunch. No, no, no. Enjoy I don't want to... 
Don't want to bother your lunch. All right. She's eating her lunch. I don't want to get her on camera while she's enjoying her lunch. All right. So this here is Kathy. And Kathy uh, has decided that the First Amendment doesn't exist at the engineering counter in the Smithfield Town Hall, which is part of the reason Smithfield got in the trouble that they got into. So we're going to go do a records request on Kathy. We're going to find out her, her last name, her dates of employment, and we're also going to find out just how much money she makes to treat the public like shit. So let's go figure that out. Thank you, Kathy. It was nice to Thank meet you. Thank you, Kathy. Nice to meet you, Kathy. It was a pleasure. Okay, Kathy. Did, did you catch her name? Kathy. Kathy. That was yeah. Kathy, yeah. Hello. Hey, do you know the name of um, the secretary? Is it Kathy downstairs in the engineering department? I think so, yeah. It is, okay. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, no, no. You don't need to help me. I'm just coming in. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Sorry, I'm in your way. That Good was a morning, confusing huh? answer. Yes, you can. No, you can't. You just caught me off guard. I like your, your shirt. Very nice. Oh, my God. It's a good afternoon. I'm so sorry. Is it afternoon now? Yep. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at this office, huh? Oh, this is decorative. That's nice. We got nice, wi nice wide open and lots of daylight. Good you got a nice, nice Good office afternoon. in there, my friend. Nice and open and no, no, I'm good. I just take a look around. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a good day, my friend. This is what they cover. You don't, you don't generally get a town office that's like real wide open like that. That's yeah. nice to have. Nice, uh, nice to have a big wide open office like that. Yep. I think we're going to town. It's so open and airy and pleasant. Yes. I think we're sounding a warning bell. Thank you. You have a great day. Stairs here. No, I was gonna see if you could give us like a little, little tour, show us the good spots. Town managers out today. Uh oh. Oh, just blacked out windows. Hi. Hello. Randy's in a meeting. Who Dennis got appointed as an alternate to serve on the Economic Development Commission. All right, sounds good. What's up? Hello. Hey, how are you? Yeah, good. Good, how are you? Trying to get to do what? Just say good afternoon because oh. it's after Oh, 12. yeah, it is. <laughs> Randy's in a meeting? Yeah. Okay. Do you know how long he's going to be in there for? I don't. That's what the chief just asked me. I don't know. Okay. Because I'm sure I think he'd be really bummed if he missed me. Um, We're such close friends now. Um, no. The guy that does the... I can't remember his name. He does, like, the housing and stuff... There was a, you remember, yeah. the whole meeting that happened, the guy that was in there, he was in charge of like the inspectional services yeah. or whatever. What department is he in? Building. Building. Where is that located? In the basement below. Lower level. In the basement. All the way to the left. In the middle. In the middle. Okay, I, I met her. She was very nice. She was eating. I didn't want to film her. Uh, met, what was her name? Kathy? Kathy. Kathy. Um, told me. I was breaking the law. Apparent, so, so and, and I did, I committed, I, I believe it was a felony. Um, I walked in to the public building. I went up to her public desk and I had my camera going and kind of like I'm doing right now. And by doing that, I committed a felony. It was against the law 
And at that point, I was refused service because I was breaking the law by filming. And then I asked her, like, how does that make sense? If I walk in here, there's cameras. You guys don't ask my permission. And if I don't give it, you don't shut your camera systems down. So it seems like Kathy, uh, and it's interesting. We, she did the same thing last time. Mm-hmm. So I wanted to check with Randy to see if he uh, had let people know that the First Amendment is still a thing in 2024 these United States. As far as I'm aware, yes. Okay, and, and what I'm doing right now with you is not a felony, right? No. Felony? Okay. So I don't know why but, she's still doing it. No. Hey, you, I, I know you don't have an answer to that. What? No. To that, it's just like... I think she's definitely misinformed. Well, I don't know if she was ever informed after the last time. Like, maybe she was, and she was just like, well, I'm going to do what I want anyways. Last time I had glasses, no hat. This time, contacts and a hat. So maybe she thought it was someone different. Because I said to her, I was like, have we met? She said, I don't think so. Then she told me I couldn't film. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on with Kathy, but... I don't know what's going on. She made me sad. Point of view, it just didn't look good. Uh, she was you like, know, someone that's not from here. And she wasn't just like, no, you. That way, it wasn't good. And she wasn't just like, no, you can't film. She was super rude about it. And it's like, it doesn't help because after the last time, I think the town hall is very aware that I have a huge audience. And like, when I post something, a ton of people see it. So why even behave like that? Like, everyone else has been nice. Like, so why even bring that type of smoke? And I guess kind of spoil the bunch, so to say. I don't know. I I can speak to what other people. Well, Donna, you you're wonderful, (laughs) Donna, and we know that you are a very nice person. We knew that before. We know that now. I'm not mad at you. I'm just I guess I'm kind of redressing my grievances to you, so you can relay them to 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 young Randall. I will do that. I like to call people young, because as (laughs) I get old, I get I get what it's like. You though, not a day over thirty five. I won't hear anyone say other than this guy. I thought 25. Oh, well, now See? you're my best friend. <laughs> Thank you. Um, she has told everybody the same thing. I'm, I'm, you know the way to get to yeah. people. That's right. I'm willing to... Oh, this is... Let me fix that for you. There we go. It's stuck. Um, I'm willing to accept an apology from her before I leave town hall. Uh, if I don't, what I'm going to do is file a formal complaint, and then I'm going to show up at all the town meetings, select board meetings... And I'm going to do that live with my audience until she resigns or she's eventually fired. But I'm, I'm feeling good today, and I'd love to give her the chance to apologize. And that opportunity extends until I leave here today. All right. Well, do you want me? Can I have Randy call you when he gets free? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I'll just be in town hall, so if I'm still here, he can let me know. Um, I know he's got a meeting. So I don't know if there's someone else that's kind of second in command that wants to go talk to her and be like, hey, listen, do you want to apologize? Because if not, he's going to make our town famous for the next foreseeable future. But my offer expires when I leave, I and it's any, not your fault. Yeah, I'd rather... Um, I don't... I can't say who second in command is. So. Some days it's me. Some you're, you're the lady, though. I, I feel that you have that aura of, of in charge. Yeah, well... The director of first impressions. I... All right. Oh, she likes that type of director. Director of first, first impressions, first. yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're going to finish up here. I'll swing by before I leave to see All if right. he's still around uh, and to see if um, she gives up an apology or she gives up her job. We'll figure it out. But thank you. Thank you very much. Very much. Well, we'll check back in a few, Randy. I don't want to feel bad for interrupting his meeting there. No, I don't. Um... It looks like just a break room over here. Yeah. That's the council chambers right there. Mm-hmm. Now she was. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? You're human resources? Yes, I am. I wanted to speak to you about an incident that just happened uh, downstairs with Kathy. Okay, I'm not aware of any incident. No, it just happened. I'm just telling you right now. Um, and your name is. Susan. Yeah. Hi, Susan. Josh, nice to meet you. Um, nice to meet do you, you mind if I, if I come in here? Yeah, sure. my, my hand's kind of wet that, from holding the um, So everyone in here is really, really, really nice. I think you may be aware of a video that we filmed here before. Maybe you're not. 
Um, Honestly, I'm not. Okay. So we, we had filmed a video here before, so Randy knows who we are. We came back today to kind of follow up, and everyone's been phenomenal. But we walked downstairs, and Kathy explained to us that we didn't have a right to record. Um, the First Amendment is not existent in front of her. Um, and we were refused service simply because we were engaged in a constitutional activity. <laughs> it's, to say the least, that's a, a very big problem. You know, like, it, it's the same as, like, you know, I get this change with, chain with a religious medallion on it. It's the same as if she saw me, saw the chain, and said, oh, yeah, we don't want your kind in here. I'm not going to help you. Uh, it's listed in the First Amendment under the five components as is religion, right to redress your grievances, freedom of the press, free speech. So this happened last time also. So I don't know if nothing happened before, if she wasn't educated or if she simply just didn't care. But you can't refuse somebody's service based on their exhibition of their constitutional rights. It's a huge illegal you know, thing to do. It violates federal law. It violates people's constitutional rights. It's a huge issue. So I wanted to see what we could do. Uh, city manager, town manager is in a meeting right now, Randy. Um, and I was giving her the opportunity. I was going to give her the opportunity to apologize to me before I left. Um, I don't, I, I did that last time. She apologized and then did the same thing today. So I don't know if she even really deserves that. But I like to take an apology or a job, and and she can kind of decide how she wants it to go. She can apologize because it's wrong, and you don't treat people like crap for any reason, let alone for constitutional reasons. Or if she doesn't want to apologize, I can do what I did last time and just show up to every town council meeting. I can be in here every single day filming, and I can make Smithfield, Rhode Island the center of all my work and research moving forward because she has a bad attitude and doesn't want to own it. And it will eventually get to the point where she'll quit or the town will fire her because what other option do they have? Some huge YouTuber that's one of the biggest civil rights activists in the nation had his rights violated and she doesn't even want to say sorry. Okay. So that's where I'm at, Susan. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. I forgot your name. Josh. Uh, Josh. Okay. Sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. I didn't want to call you the wrong no, name. No, it's okay. You can call me jerk. A lot no, of people no, do. No, no. I was going to say Jim, honestly, <laughs> but, I, but I wasn't 100% positive. So. Yes, ma'am. Um, so, Josh, uh, could you give me something in writing, and I will certainly look into it further for you? You know, certainly research it. I mean, I, certainly I'm... Well, what would you like me to put just, in writing? Just everything you just... And I'll be happy I mean, to just, have you uh, you can You can know, write it down. Just what transpired. I she, know she told, have it from Okay. You, yeah, no worries. I'm going to put you in the conference room, okay? I will say that my offer for an apology expires when I walk out the door. And that's not on you. I'm not saying I'm mad at you or I expect well, like you to, to do anything. Of course. Of course. I'm just, of course. You know, I'm just yeah, trying yeah. to do my due diligence. No worries. In and, fact, why don't I... be respectful. Would you like me to show you? It's on video, okay. sure. We try and do it. We're very, very polite. If people are in offices, we wait. If someone's eating, we come back. We don't come in yelling at people barking orders. Uh, that's the first office we went to. Right down the stairs, right in front of the stairwell. And instead of, hi, how are you today? Can I help you? She's telling me I can't do something that hundreds of thousands of Americans have fought and died for to defend my right to do this. So I don't know which veteran she thinks should turn over in their grave. I have a friend that died in Afghanistan, you know, kicking some serious ass on behalf of this nation. Maybe he's the one that can roll over in his grave and, and spit in her face um, you know, theoretically no, I mean, for, for that type of yeah. behavior. But I mean, too many people fought some paid a very high price so we could have freedoms. I don't know why she got out of bed this morning thinking she's above any of it. Um, but I'm willing to take an apology today that starts with, I'm so sorry. I'm such a disrespectful cuss. And if it doesn't start with that, then I'm just going to make her my project moving forward. Because even after watching that, I'm even more mad because I have friends like, one was just in town, and the guy did tours in Afghanistan, right? Real, one of those badass guys that you see movies about that's out there in special forces doing special things to protect our freedom. And she's down there. I don't know what price she's paid or if she's ever lifted a finger to fight for this country. But she's not going to tell me that I can't film in a public place when my friends are out there fighting for that right. So, and by again, I'm not mad at you. I'm just very upset by her behavior, yeah. and I'm going to have her job today, I think. Mm -hmm. I think that I might even be leaning away from apology. I'll, 
My word is good. If she says I apologize for being a miserable cuss, I'll let her keep her job today. Well, I can't tell her what to say specifically. Right. Well, we'll, we can't put well, words in her mouth. Yeah. Just, well, I mean, well, you know, she, we I mean, can't. but I mean, I understand. She could put words in her own I mouth. I understand and then, the apology. Standpoint. If I was black, would she tell me I couldn't be in that office? I don't know what she would say. I don't know. Well, if I, I was, I, I, I just, cannot put words in anybody's right. mouth. That's she my point. She could have just handled things a little bit more di- demo. What we call it? Diplomatically. Diplomatically. With some yeah. tact and customer service, but that's not what she did. No, she she done stepped in it. Well, but you know exactly where I'm coming. From. Yeah, of course. No, no, no. I know. No, you. I know I'm it's not saying, on you. You can't, can't make anyone do mouth. anything. I can't put words in your mouth. I can't put words. Of in course. Mouth. You know, you can only think for yourself. Of That's course. my point. I'll I'll go wait in the yeah. conference room. I'll write this down real quick for you. Then I'll check in with Randy. Okay, Thank sure. you, Susan, for yes. your help. Let me see if Randy's still in a meeting. Still, still in a meeting. Doors, yeah. uh, I just showed her the video, and I'm even more upset now that I watched it. I got friends. One very close friend that passed away overseas kicking ass for this country and i don't know what that 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 miserable wait you want to apologize to me ma'am i'll take an apology or your job what do you think what do you think miserable cuss that's her over there i withdraw the apology i'm taking her job now i'm gonna hang out in smithfield today i have friends that fought and died for for this country donna all right and i don't know what that old bat has ever done for this community or this country where she's fought for people's rights, but I do every single day. And I'm not going to have her spit on the name of those people that fought for this country so she could tell us what we can do that they died to defend. So I, Can I it, ask you what just happened? I walked Sorry, out the door and I said, oh, that's her. And she said, and I said, she called me an asshole with her lips. So now this is my office today. I'm here all day. My office today. And we're going to have to be my office for today, right up until they close. This is going to be where I do business today. That's fine. I can say you. He's still in there, right? Yeah. All right. But I need to walk the office. So do you mind just waiting in the hall? If Randy wants to talk to me for a quick second, I would would have no problem doing that. I would if say, you want to wait in the hallway, it's okay. I would say this that. takes precedence, Donna. I mean, do you want to at least ask him if he wants to speak to us for a second, and then we can get out of here, or we can hang out all day? We can be here all day, Donna. It's up to him. He's got, he's got a city employee that's not acting right. I just, if, he, if he has a quick second to talk to me, that's fine. If he doesn't, then just, we'll go downstairs and go everywhere else. But I would like you to... Came up and, and I would like you to at least ask, if you could. Please. Interrupt his meeting, but you're welcome to wait in the hallway. Do you want me to knock on the door? I can knock on the door and just ask if he has a second. I'll just knock on the door real quick. He's gonna bring his name. That's okay. Sorry? She she came up in. She would have been standing down here not answering. Hey, Randy. We're in the middle of a meeting. I know. Um, before I leave, yeah. if you get a second, yeah. one of your employees made. She stepped in some shit, wanted to call me an asshole, and she told me it was illegal to film, and she spit in the face of all my friends that fought and served for this country so I can do this, so I don't know how long your meeting goes or if this is something that you want to handle, but I'm, I'm going to handle it now myself, and I, I, I think Smithfield you know, is still not, not liking how I handle things, so I didn't know if you had a quick second, because at this point, I'm, I'm probably going to just take her job. So I, I, will, I will stop as soon as I'm done. I will come on and see you. You know how long you're going to be? Probably about another 10 minutes. Another 10 minutes, probably. I'll just be roaming around. I thank okay. you. Thanks, Randy. It wasn't Donna. Donna told me not to. Thanks. All right. Figured I'd cover it for you there. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. No, no, you can just leave that there. She doesn't get to apologize now. She gets to lose her job. Sorry, guys. I just went to the bathroom. So. She just could not help herself. So we'll go to these offices first, and then we'll go back downstairs to see Kathy. Hello. Hey, how are you? Hi, how are you? Oh, you guys are nice, and you have smiles. Thank God. Okay. Oh, they got plants. Very nice to see you. You guys having a good day? Yeah. How are you? Good. I just met Kathy. It could be better. Nice. But you guys are nice. 
Good. Okay. There's hope. There's hope still. Kathy uh, told me it was illegal to film, and then she called me an a-hole. Okay. Um, no, I mean it's. Uh, you know, sometimes you meet not nice people. Thank you for being nice. All right. This is my vacation office here. This is my vacation office. Wait, what office is they? Wait, you're the tax assessor and you smile? How is that even oh possible? I didn't, I didn't know that was possible. That's shocking. Staring at numbers all day. I couldn't when smile. I gave the, when I gave my tax. Well, they were nice. Thank you. <laughs> Let's figure out Kathy's stuff here. I'm going to be giving you a records request, so don't flee for too long. Sorry, guys, my gimbal's terrible. If it helps, I got a new one coming. I got a record request for you. Thank you. Hi. I got a record request for you. Just looking for um, Kathy's full name, salary, and dates of employment. Okay. What Kathy are we talking about? Uh, downstairs, first office, right in front of you. What office is that? It's not engineering. engineering. Is it engineering? Yeah. Yeah, engineering. Okay. She sits at that desk. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Can I ask why? Yeah, she's a real asshole. So now I'm going to get her information. She's and nice enough to call him one first. Yeah, so I'm, I'm returning the favor. So now I'm going to get all of her information. I'm going to get it within 10 business days. I'm going to blast it all over the internet to hundreds of thousands of people. And maybe she'll learn not to treat the public like crap and try and step on their constitutional rights that brave men and women, some of my friends, have died for to defend. So that's, to be perfectly candid with you, that's my objective. I'm sorry that you didn't have a good experience. It's not your fault. You're very nice. Everyone else, well, which I've found, is very, very nice. nice. But <laughs> my first impression walking downstairs, and I don't say anything to anyone. In fact, the, the nice lady next to her, she was eating. So I purposely turned my camera away so I wouldn't see her eating, let her enjoy her lunch break. I'm, and I walk up, she tells me that I can't film. It's illegal to film. That she has this expectation of privacy in public. I know a lot of people that fought for that right. Some of them are homeless. Some of them never made it home. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what she's ever done mm -hmm. for freedom, thinking that she can be the arbiter of who gets to enjoy their constitutional rights and who doesn't or when and when they don't. But that lady uh, is exactly what she called me, an a-hole. And now I'm going to make her famous. She definitely did not. Again, Make your, your city look good. It's not your fault. You're very kind. I appreciate <laughs> okay, it. I'm going to do one thing. Sure. And I'm going to just, I'm going to put it on a form. Yeah, that's um, fine. Like access form, okay? That's fine. Thank you. Oh, you got the, like the actual app reform? That's fine. Thank you. Do you want me to write it over for you? Yeah. I can do it. That's fine. No worries. You're very kind. Thank you for your help. No, you're very, very nice. Well, thank you. We're given the, the definite award for uh, Director of First Impressions. Thank you. You're welcome. Nice to get a compliment once in a while. Thank you. You know, I, that, believe it or not, that's what I love to do. And I, and I was going to take an apology instead of taking her job. But I looked back because she looked familiar. And she did the same thing to me eight months ago when I was here. Same thing. And I told her that, and I said, when I come back here, you better not pull that again. Were you, like, looking for property stuff? I, di I didn't have a chance to look for anything. Like, what was your original mission to look for? Well, I want, so the, there was a gentleman I had worked on a story here, um, and I wanted to get his business card 
to follow up on it. So that was my reason for going downstairs oh. because his office is in the middle, like the permits, like the city. Building department. Right. So normally where I'm from, building is in the same office as engineering. So I just oh, walked up to yeah. her office. And before a word came out of my mouth, she told me that I wasn't allowed to have constitutional rights because she's Hitler and she gets to decide who has freedoms when they're standing in front of her. So you, you were looking to get the building officials... Is this yeah, I already got his name. I went to the city manager's uh, office after that to okay. get. So I got that information, okay. and everyone else has been it. super nice. I just don't understand like how some people think that they can. Well, it doesn't look good when she comes up to the floor that the uh, the town administrator is at, and then mouths the words, you know, ale. Yeah, I'm, I'm now redressing my grievances, and I'm telling HR I don't want to take her job. I don't want to have to come here and show up at every town council meeting and, and make, you know, everyone the subject of my story until either she quits or she's fired. I'll just take an apology. I shouldn't let her give an apology because this is the second time this has happened, but I'm willing to. So as I'm willing to give her apology for treating me like shit and violating my constitutional rights, she has the gall to then call me an asshole. So now I'm just not going to take it. Yeah, from a city, you know, I'm an outsider. So from a... From my perspective, it just makes the town look bad. Oh, so that you're one employee. You're from state somewhere or? Yeah, I'm from I'm from Nevada. So welcome to our cold and rainy weather. Yeah, right. Thank you. <laughs> it's not it's nothing quite like you know because I live in a desert and we snow probably every eight or nine years. Oh, stop. Yeah, <laughs> we've been lucky these past couple of years, and I don't care how long you've lived. You don't like it. <laughs> don't get used to it. You just hate it. Yeah, it just, you know, I mean, I'm used to where I live. And right. How, how you get the respect. When you give respect, you get respect. And what she did, and we barely said two words. And she We actually hadn't said any words. Yeah. We didn't, and then, then I still tried to push through it mm -hmm. and, and get the information that I needed. And she straight up refused me service. I appreciate it. You've been very kind. Oh, you're welcome. So, um, if you, I don't know if you're familiar with the process. So, what will happen is... Ten business days. Yeah, it'll get stamped And if in. you need more time, you can let me know. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so, then this will get sent to the appropriate department for, for fulfillment. And then, once I have what we need, okay. then I have your email. Yes, ma'am. I think that will do it. Thank you for your help. You were wonderful. You're welcome. Well, thank you. Now, listen, we try and do it this way. Like, even though I'm mad, I'm still being super nice to you. I go out of my way to be professional. Mm -hmm. So if anything happens, like what happened with Kathy happens, then there's no excuse. There's no blame that can be displaced. If everyone else is nice and you are the a-hole, it's real hard to point the finger at somebody else. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. You have thank a wonderful you. day. Thank Take you. care. Thanks. You guys do the same. Thank what a you. wonderful town clerk. Very nice. Very professional. Oh, look, guys. Here's what we call the modern oh. I've never seen one of these. This is gold. What is it? It's a modern day paper. Is that a payphone? Yeah. No way. Yeah. I have never seen one of, one of these like this. It doesn't work. That is, but it's so Holy cool smokes, though. huh? Right? It's not that modern. It wants coins instead of card. Yeah. See? All right, let's go back downstairs, and then we'll go upstairs to see if Randy's ready to okay. talk to us. I don't know if we... Could that be Randy? No. No. Okay. I don't know if we went down here. See, this is a reminder that they're always filming us. And don't ask us. Oh, we did because the task assessor's office is here. All right. So I want to go downstairs just because Randy might be down there talking to her. So I want to. Yeah. He said ten minutes. It's been longer than that. Yeah. So. And then again, he might sneak off to lunch. You never know. I mean, he is a city official, so. Never know. Gotta 
I don't think she's expecting that. Can I ask you why? So you're looking for this information? Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell Boy, you. Boy, this is going to be a long video. <laughs> Ma'am, oh, is, geez, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, is, my um, computer's up high, so. No, 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 you're fine. I'm trying to remember what his name is. Um, Mick White, Chris, is he oh, here? building official? Yeah. No, he's not here at the moment. Okay, all right, thank you very much. Okay, sorry. Appreciate it. No, you're good, thank you. All right, so let's head up uh, the third floor. the way we go? Doesn't say. I think this is the way we came. Yeah, okay. Yep. I recognize the box. It seems that she's abandoned post. She's abandoned ship. Well, that's yep. the thing, right? This is what they'll normally do. They'll be in the wrong. Mm -hmm. They'll treat the public like trash. Then they'll abandon post and become a victim. Yep. Ain't no victim. There's just no reason for her to act that way. None. Well, there is. She's an entitled public official. Yep. That's her reasoning. That's reasoning enough for her. I don't know if Randy's... Dated as of 319. So they're looking for a police chief and a dispatcher. I'm looking for a town manager. And code enforcement. And um, a time lapse on it. Uh, good afternoon. They're looking for a cluster guard, seasonal laborer, police chief, dispatcher, code enforcement, snowplow driver, lifeguard, and soon to be. Town officials don't really want to talk. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I'm not going to wait that much longer. Your, uh, thing there. 
And he said 10 minutes. Guys, that was at 10 past 12. And as you can see, that's 46 minutes ago, almost an hour. That's crazy. You guys don't have to whisper. I'm going to wait right here. I know you said 10 minutes, been close to 40. We're still going to wait right here. So we can whisper and hide and do all that fun stuff. Or we can address the problem and not ignore it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the town of Smithfield Road Island. Hear that, guys? So, so th they're not being genuine. I guess I'm whispering in there. They're not whispering. They're not. On the phone oh, you lost your voice, Randy? Yes. Okay. She called me an asshole. Who did? Kathy. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, that's after she told me it was illegal to film. Which is the same woman that, if I'm not mistaken, I'm not because I looked, when I came in the first time, she told me it was illegal to film. She told me again today, and everyone else has been great, which is great. Right. Very nice. And I've had the conversation with everybody before, so right. I, I'm sorry that that occurred. Well, she tells me, and here's the reason it's upsetting. Last time... I gave her opportunity, apologize, or I take your job. Right. She, she said she was sorry, begrudgingly. Right. I was willing to do the same thing for her today. Right. Now, watching back that video, I'm a real piss. Because I got a buddy that died in oh. Afghanistan. I got another one that died. A lot of friends that have given a lot. The ultimate sacrifice to make sure that I can go out and do what I'm doing. Right. I don't know what she's ever done or how she's lifted her lazy finger to assist this country. I don't think she's done a damn thing. But she'll be the arbiter of when and where someone can or can't exhibit their free speech, right? So as I'm telling this young lady, willing to leave it at that, my email, uh, a recount of what happened, so then you could get back to me without a big debacle and me having to come to all the town meetings, putting Smithfield on the map again for the wrong reasons. Yeah. I was willing to leave it out that. Yeah. She pops out the elevator, and then she calls me an asshole. And I said, I'm the asshole, you miserable cuss. And she goes back in the elevator and goes downstairs. So apologies off the table. And it's, I, I, I will accept nothing. I'm not putting you in a position. I'm not mad at you. I'm just upset. No, no, I get it. I will take nothing short of her job. Kathy's on the block today. And, and whether that, and listen, I understand that, you know, you have to do what you have to do. She's probably union protected since she's a town employment and there's arbitration and 90 days and all that. I, I really don't care. I'm going to take her job. And if that means that I have to come to every single select board meeting, I mean, I know how it goes. I just ran for selectman. It's a pretty easy thing to win. How'd you do? Um, looking, looking real good. Uh, elections are coming up. Oh. Looking real good. So the guy that's been there 15 years is probably going to have to find something else to do. When, when, uh, when is that cycle? Like, is and, it yeah, he, he's on the end of his cycle, three years. Every oh, three okay. years. So he was running as the incumbent. And I, I, I'm sick and tired of... Cities just doing whatever they want and the people getting screwed, whether it's overrides or having to pay excessive amounts in lawsuits or if it's just as simple as we heard that the young lady we met before has been doing quite well. Mm -hmm. Looks like you guys did what you promised you were going to do. Yeah. And I came back here today to let everyone know that I was happy the right thing had been done. Mm -hmm. And I went downstairs. I forgot which office McWhite worked in. Yeah. So I got down the stairs and I got to the first desk. It said engineering, where I'm from, engineering is zoning and planning. So I went to her and before I even said anything, she told me that I was not allowed to film. It's illegal, I'm not allowed to do it. And I'm sitting there saying, I drove with my friend from Vegas an hour and 45 minutes to come here because it's been a while. I just haven't had the opportunity to travel the country to come back here. To thank you guys 
for actually following through, getting to the hotel room, doing what you said you were going to do. I don't often see it happen. And before I get to say a word, not only am I told it's illegal to film, she straight up refused me service. I had to walk around to each desk to figure out what that guy's name was so I could leave a note for him. Then to finally come up to Donna to leave a message with her to try and figure out just what her name was and how to, to go forward and letting you guys know that I recognize how that other situation resolved itself. That's unacceptable. Right. Unacceptable behavior. Right. I mean, it's so where does it like stop, right? Like, and you're saying that you told everyone, right? And, I, and I, I'm sure you that... Up because you, you told me about a situation with somebody, so I let everyone know that you have the right for a public building. It looks like you have, and I'm not negating that. I think right. you did because every single office we went into... All smiles. How can we help you? Right. Super professional behavior. I went into one office and I'm like, how are you people smiling? You work in the tax office. That's the most headache you can get. Right. And everyone's great. And then that happened. So it seems like she, she was negative before. She did the same thing before. She was told by the highest chain of command that exists here besides the select board, the council, because they deal with the implementation of law. You deal with the day-to-day -day running of the town. You told her. And after you told her, she'd screw that. I don't have to listen to him. I can do what I fucking want. And then she did what she fucking wanted. And now this is what we're dealing with. Right. So I don't know what we do dealing with it from here. And I know you're in a tough position because your, your position is going to be, I'm going to investigate it. I'll look into it. And I'm past necessary steps. I gave that grace the first time. Mm -hmm. So it's, if she, if she's gonna, as long as she's employed here, I'm going to be, this is my office. So I don't know where we go from here. Yeah. Well, I mean, the way that we go is you exactly, you know, say the steps because we have to do our due diligence in dealing with any employee in a complaint. You know, so I take it very importantly of what you're telling me uh, that, there's, that, that you're complaining the situation and it's not something that we tolerate and we're going to have to deal with it. So, you know, I, I'm not going to, to you, I mean, it, you're an individual that brings it to our attention. It, it's internal at that point. Well, I understand personnel matters are exempted from public. Correct. The disciplinary process is exempt for unwanted invasion of privacy in, in a records request. The outcome, though, her, her employment status is not. I'll tell you one thing. Here's what I'm willing to do because I think you do a great job. Thank you. Okay? I think the people here give a shit. And I think it's a small town with a small community and they don't want to have to deal with bullshit because someone acted like a jerk, right? Like, they just don't want to have to deal with it. There's no reason for it to have to happen. Right. I'm sure everyone's, like, in my town. Everyone knows each other. Right. I will still move forward trying to take her job. But if she'd like to apologize, not what she did to me, mm -hmm. but for disrespecting my friends and all the veterans that fought out there for this right, mm -hmm. then I won't be showing up at every mm -hmm. council meeting, at every town meeting, and I won't be coming here once a week for the next foreseeable future. I'm still gonna go after her job, but she shit over the employees in this building and she has a chance to unshit them. Mm -hmm. So if she'd like to apologize, I will just wait to hear from you. If she doesn't, then it's her choice and I'm gonna to have to come back here regularly, twice a month, at every single meeting. And then, I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna use this video as an example at my town meetings. <laughs> like. Yeah, and I'll do it in a public and personal capacity. If she'd like to apologize, it makes it easier on the rest of the town because I think you guys deserve that. But that's up to you if you want to ask her. She'd like to, you know, she put you guys in this mess. Does she want to get you out of it? Right, right, right. I guess that's it's up to you yeah, if you no, want to no, see no, if she wants to apologize. Yeah, I just let me call and see if she. Yeah, yeah no was worries. She, was she down there with you? Um, because they, you know, be doing this. Time she well, she came up. She popped her head out of the elevator. She called me an asshole, and she went back down. So I don't know if she's here. Let me see. Because All right. they go, they, I, I appreciate it, man. I think you do a great second. job. They got the right. They got the right guy here. No, thanks. Just give me one minute. Let me thank you, Randy. I thought he was whispering in there. The guy just has a serious case of uh, what do you call it when you, your throat hurts? Yeah, no, I don't. It's been what is it called? Um, laryngitis. Laryngitis. I was gonna say. I thought I was just saying to my audience. I thought he was like in there whispering, but you got like the worst case of yeah. laryngitis. I was on the phone. I was, that's who I was talking. And you're still here working. Yeah, of course. It'll stop. Good for you, man. I appreciate that, dude. Yes, sir. Thank you. Second time we've we've had an issue, and we've found a, a member of. You know, he was here the last time, and they they wound up doing the right thing at the end. Of, I mean, like I said, it's not going to save her job, but I will 
uh, she can at least make it easier for everybody else. I mean, the fact that she mailed the birds past all, I'm sorry, you work for the city. Why are you telling a citizen? Why are you even mouthing that stuff? That she has violated their own rules of decorum. I'm going to post it right here. Engineering Secretary Employment Opportunity. Right here. That's a great idea. Oh, great, great idea. Uh, you know, I want to see if I can... I don't know if this will work. Let me see. Uh, I don't know if he's available right now. I promise, guys. I want to see, I I want to see if, my, if my buddy Where answers. Much love, my brother. Hey, um, I don't, I, I'm wondering if you might want to stay on the phone for a second. I'm at a town hall, and uh, I have a city official here who cares not for the First Amendment. Um, she cares even less so for the people that fought and gave up their lives and their homes and, and all of their, their belongings to go fight for that freedom. Um, so the, the town manager is about to come back out. I don't know if you just want to stay on the phone. He's right here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll hang out on the phone for a second. Randy, this is my friend. Um, well, you give the, the name Josh. Um, did a tour in Afghanistan, okay? Combat veteran, was deep in the shit, was also a military police officer. And I just wanted you to hear a voice of someone that I'm fighting for. Her disrespect for the people that fought and died for this country is beyond measure. So I wanted to give you a voice. Josh, can you hear me? Hey there, you guys. Josh, I want to say thank you so much for your service. Um, I, I can't, can't say enough uh, of what you've done for this country and for all of us. Well, I, I appreciate the support if it's, if it's wholehearted, you know? Yeah, so, uh, Randy's a good Randy's a good dude, Josh. I think that he's going to do his best to right this wrong. But I wanted you to see firsthand that when I take it so personally that someone's going to shit on our constitutional rights, I got someone that I love and, 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 and am honored to call a brother that went and fought for those rights. She's done nothing for him. So I just wanted to put a voice to a, a complaint because no, these are the types of guys that I think of when I do this stuff. I got you. And I, I appreciate talking to you, Josh. Well, I appreciate you, man. Thank you. All right, man. Appreciate you, bro. I'll talk to you soon. All right, man. Stay safe. Later. Love you, bro. Love you, too. Bye. So, so she, she did go out to lunch. Okay. All right. No worries. But I, I will definitely, when, she, when she's back, I will handle the situation. I know you will. I appreciate you. Uh, there's a lot of people that do this out there, you know, and they just do it to get people riled up and, you know, they want to make a big scene of things. I do it for one reason, because guys like that. Right, like a personal friend, there's no YouTube clout in this for him. He went out in there and, and had to shit in the woods for nine months at a time, so that way we could live a little bit safer. Right. I won't take any of that type of behavior that Kathy exhibited today, but I know that you'll do you know, your best, so I thank you, Randy. I thank you. You have a, thank a you. great day, all right? You too. Uh, I, I didn't get to meet you. I, I'm CJ. Hi, CJ. I'm Randy. Nice to meet you. I was so excited. I was like, before you leave... Do you remember Smithfield? And she's like, no, not by name. There's so many videos. Like, we had this issue with the zoning guy. And then afterwards, they wound up paying for her hotel. And she wound up being on her feet. And we got this update. And, and I'm surprised the town did what they said they were going to do. And I was like, so let's close out this trip with a feel-good story. Let's go up there and, you know, shake some hands, kiss some babies, and say... And that's part of the reason I decided to run for office. Because I saw what we could do as a people if we banded together. And then I couldn't get down the stairs before that shit happened. And like, it, it's not a reflection on the total. You did all you could do. You had the experience, you educated people, you're sick as a dog, and you're in here working for your constituents. There's only so much you can do and that you can be held responsible for, you know? But we'll, we'll continue to make it better. What's that? I said we'll continue to make it better. I appreciate it. I know you will. Thank you're a good dude. Thank you. You ready, Miss Mack? Yep. It's very nice to meet you, Thank you. Take care. Listen, drink some tea. Get some, listen, do you have any cough drops in here? I got some in my car. Hold on. Don't don't lock your door. I got a brand new bag of. I, I didn't lock it either. I just uh, you knew I was. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. I think I still have them in the car, don't I? Or did they bring them in yesterday? I think they brought. Do you have any in the car? I have some. Donna, I mean, 
She died. Gotcha. All right. Because I was going to go to the store and get you some cough drops. She refilled it for me. All right, good. Oh, take care of yourself. I Thank know you. it's not easy. To somebody else has dropped me off a little syrup. Do they say to try that? Oh, okay. there you go. Today we have a lot of sugar. Isn't it's it? weird, but Chinese food, hot and sour soup, the, the stuff in that, clear you right out. Huh? General, you can get whatever you want, man. <laughs> you get the General Gao. It's called General Randy's. Yeah, there we go. All right. There you go. Thank you. Hey. Still a great dude. Still a good dude. There's only so much you can do. I think he was, it seemed like he was willing to, to fire her right there on the spot. I mean, holy smokes. Good people in here. I'm going to say thank you to the town clerk again for being so nice. I just wanted to pass, uh, again, my gratitude on to the town clerk that helped us out with the records request. Very kind, very helpful. We appreciate it. Have a Thank good day. Thank you very much. All right. Smithfield, Rhode Island is going to have to get back to me and, and let me know. But I, I got a feeling that they're going to fire her. I do. I mean, this guy, this guy dealt with it. And he's not going to want to be made to look like an ass because one woman trumps all of America. So until next time, that's the reason I stopped you today.